Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 29, 2022. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see the videos, 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 and let's get, and to, let's it. get to it. So as you can see, we are down quite a bit today. We are looking at uh, NASDAQ at this current stage, and we're down roughly 1%. So it has been the last eight days or nine days have been absolutely amazing for the Nasdaq and pullbacks were always expected here. We had this a double top over here, which was expected to be major resistant. And we have also the 200 moving average above. Now, saying that doesn't really mean that we are going to drop all the way to the very bottom. There are several support levels that we need to get through, especially here, the 50 moving average and the previous highs over here could be where this basically bounces and or basically creates a flag pattern and then continues up towards the 200 moving average. There are, though, many things that could go are going against this market um, increased interest rates uh, the war in the in uh, in Ukraine. Um, also, uh, there is just there's just um there's just a lot of fear about this market uh, due to the fact that the price uh, um, that the inflation is getting out of hand and therefore a monetary policy will be tightened significantly and there will be it will be much more expensive in order to lend money but at this current stage we are pulling back and uh, it will be interesting to see whether or not uh, we get a bounce from here if we drop below this and then the middle of the bullish band roughly uh, 14k it will be the next target and then we have the bottom here which is 14k and uh, 13k and if that basically drops then we're looking at something a much much bigger drop in this market so it has been expected we did get a pullback roughly at 20 percent that's a normal pullback but considering how much this market has rallied in recent years that's probably not uh, the biggest pullback we probably should be looking at the 35 percent or probably up to 50 percent uh, for 2022. so, so let's, let's look at that, that, that s and 500 and also here we have started the pullback but we are trading above the uh, above the 200 moving average so we are pulling back but there's a lot of um, there should be a lot of support underneath if you break below the 50 moving average at at uh, 4400 then we can drop to the middle of the bullish band 4350 uh, and then to the very bottom here there's a long way down if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bullish stochastic is also bullish and so is the rsi but it is turning around at this current stage so uh, to the upside, if we manage to take out these previous highs roughly at 4,580, uh, then we could go back towards the all time highs. Uh, otherwise, it just it's going to be interesting what basically happens at the end of, of the of Friday session and also on on Monday. So if you look at the Dow Jones, we can see that the Dow Jones got up towards the 200 moving average and then just uh, pulled back quite aggressively. We're down at this current stage only 0.03, but uh, um, we have for support down here at the at the 33, 34k. Uh, if that basically breaks, then we'll drop to the middle of the bullish band, roughly 33.8k, and then to the very bottom. So if we manage to break above the 200 moving average, then it's the double top here of the 35.8k and yes after that back to the very highs it's going to be a lot of choppy behavior in the market in the foreseeable future that is of course because uh, we are going to see an environment where uh, macroeconomics uh, are changing all around the world and you're also going to see uh, major shifts in policy when it comes to uh, monetary policy for the technical indicators here we can see that macd is bullish stochastic is also bullish and rsi is flat at this current stage so European market, we can see that we are turning around here. DAX has a pullback. We're trading at the uh, 14.2K. If we manage to break below these, uh, this previous range here, then we could drop to the middle of the bullish band and then to the very bottom. So it could make a case for a flag pattern here. If that is the case, then there's a, a very likely that we'll pull back here and then we'll go back to the very highs we are basically a european market 
is sorting out its problems uh, when concerning energy that will take time but uh, getting less reliable uh, or uh, more reliable uh, form of um, of energy from the United States that should be definitely something that is a, a bullish for the European market instead of uh, relying on Russian natural gas and oil. Uh, but breaking above the 50 moving average, that opens the door to the 200 moving average at the 15.4k you know, and after that to the very, very highs. So, hope you find this helpful. You're all in the support channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.